Hi, thank you so much for meeting with me today to start discussing the new intervention plan that we are going to be placing Claire in. Um, to start, she scored in the ninth percentile of the Iowa Test of Basic Skills, and she's currently showing that she's placing about two grades below average for fifth grade. Specifically speaking, Claire is showing that she needs extra support in comprehension and vocabulary, which we are going to address in this new intervention plan that we are placing her in. This is gonna be a higher intensity literacy intervention to help build her comprehension skills and improve her content vocabulary. We also wanna build her confidence with reading and the ability to determine meaning of words based on context clues within a text. This is gonna help prepare her for this the rest of the school year going into next school year, which you guys have raised concern about her going into junior high. To start off, I just wanna talk about what a pleasure Claire is to have in class. She is always present and social during class discussions, small group discussions. She's a great friend. She has an outgoing and social personality. The students love her. She's just a great asset to have in the class. Um, lately, I have noticed that she has presented a little bit of difficulty staying on task and can become distracted due to her inability to comprehend text that I am passing out to the students. So to start, I wanna go over her two literacy goals that we have um, regarding content, vocabulary, and comprehension. So by the end of the intervention, I would like for Claire to use context clues in a given text to determine the meaning of words that are unfamiliar. This is gonna help her better understand what words she's reading in order to be able to comprehend that text. We need to uh, broaden her vocabulary skills to be able to determine what is important and what is not based off of what she read, which she has stated is hard for her to decide. Um, a strategy we're gonna use is scaffolding, and this is a very beneficial strategy that can be implemented to help Claire meet her literacy goals and standards. It's an instructional technique that will help determine a firm framework that I can gradually build upon for Claire. The, we're gonna incrementally improve Claire's comprehension abilities and increase her reading until she's able to do so independently. We want her to accomplish this by herself. The second literacy goal we have in, that we wanna implement is by the end of the intervention, Claire will have the ability to summarize main idea and key events or details of a given text to help improve comprehension. This is gonna help her better understand and comprehend what exactly she is reading. And this is also going to help her become more confident reading and answering questions about the text in front of her peers, which she stated was the hardest thing for her when it comes to reading. A great strategy that we're going to use for this is the QAR, a question answer relationship strategy. And this is a research-based strategy to implement during intervention. It's gonna help her better understand a text she's reading by requiring her to answer prompted questions directly related to the reading that I give her. This strategy is gonna help build her vocabulary as well as her comprehension of the text by implementing practice for answering questions about what it is that we are reading, whether it's as a class, in our small group during our intervention. I just want her to start thinking deeply about what she's reading to help her make those connections with unfamiliar words to text. Creating a literacy rich environment is extremely important for Claire's success and improvement during this intervention at home as well as at school. And one way this can be done at home is by reading with her every night. Using picture books is a great way to help her connect what is being read to help her build those comprehension and vocabulary. Let her see what it is that she's reading and how that looks compared to a picture. Audiobooks are also great. Um, two technology tools that can be implemented at home um, from you guys is audiobooks. This is a great way to involve help at home for Claire to reach her goals. She can use audiobooks to help identify new words and how they read within a text. This is gonna broaden her exposure to new vocabulary and help her, help her to make those connections from words to meaning based on what she's hearing, what is being read to her. And she can follow along with the pictures if it's a picture book. And this is also gonna help promote independent learning by her having to listen to it and to her make those connections on her own. Another great tool to implement 
is the Flipgrid. And this is where Claire can record herself reading and then go back to it. She can time herself. She can read a new book every day. She can continue to read the same book and improve her timing on reading, building that confidence. She can see how confident she read the day before compared to today or how confident, if her confidence has gone up or gone down, her time. We just want to build her confidence with reading out loud while no one is watching besides herself. She can reflect on her time and continue to improve her reading despite her vocabulary and comprehension challenges. And by her practicing, she's only going to get better at comprehending what it is that she's reading. Practice makes perfect, right? Also, it is so important that we celebrate Claire's success in the classroom as well as at home. Uh, it's extremely important to help motivate her. And this can be done several different ways, however you guys choose. A great one is a reward system. This could be extra time for TV, coloring, um, outdoor play, maybe 30 minutes of getting to stay up later. Just giving her a reward that is going to validate her hard work and motivate her to continue to earning those rewards. However, that fits best for you guys, but rewards are always a great way to just validate students hard work another easy simple one that is so important is by hanging her work on the fridge to show praise for claire's achievements this can give her daily reminders by seeing that every day that she's working hard and just helping her to build that confidence to want to put more work on the fridge just to motivate her that you guys see her hard work at home just like we see her hard work at school and she can see that hard work for herself so overall we have a lot we have a lot that we want to accomplish during this intervention. And I think Claire is going to become more confident with these literacy goals as we reach them. And we're gonna prep her for this next school year. Thank you so much for your time and I look forward to working with Claire.